today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make use of this handful of ingredients to make a fluffy akara. Oh yeah, we don't like it to that. Loveliness by nature, the only family YouTube channel. Hello lovelies, welcome to Loveliness by Nature's Kitchen. How are you today? In today's episode of Loveliness by Nature's Kitchen, we will be making fluffy akara using a handful of all these ingredients here if this is what you would like to know and many more then consider to subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn your notification on don't forget to share it and even leave a comment down below let's get into it you will start this delicious breakfast in a clean bowl add the already dried peeled beans and soak overnight if you don't have that much time, soak at least three hours to soften it and to help your blender to do an easy job. The softer it is soaked, the fluffier your akara will also be. And if you don't have the peeled beans, okay, you can as well use the unpeeled. Just peel it and move to the next step of softening before. Wash the remaining skin of the beans. Give it a good rinse under the runny water and use the sieve to catch the skin off. Here I rinse mine at least four times to have it this clear and free of any stone or debris. Set your beans aside and add one big bulb of onion. You can just slice your onion after blending it, but if you live in a home like mine, I don't like to see the onion in my akara. So I blend both the pepper and the onion together with the beans. It is better to blend them together so that the children as well will be able to eat it without asking you question. And here I'm blending it. I did not add any water to my beans because my onion has got enough water to help my blender. The tampa as well, I use it to help to push it down very well. To make your akara so fluffy, you surely need to mix it for some minutes. You can use any of this spatula depending on which you've got at home. You can use the whisk as well. It's just a little bit quicker. Mix it fluffy, but you have to have a lot of hands to stay, 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 stay. But for the purpose of this video, and to make it quicker, I'm going to use the electric whisk. This is the manual, but I'm going to use this to do it if that's what you've got. But for it not to splash on you, I'm going to use my splatter guard. So I put it inside it. I wixed mine for eight minutes. Your beans could have doubled light and fluffy. Now add the smoked prawn, salt, one cube seasoning, the smoked mackerel. This is totally optional. I love my akara with it. It gives the taste from another heaven. Yes, make sure you are satisfied with the taste and it is now ready for frying. In a clean fry pan, Add your oil. You're going to be deep frying your akara, so you need to pour a lot of oil. Dip the end of your spatula to check the readiness of the oil. And if it turns out like this, it is ready. Now turn the heat down to the minimum and carefully add your akara bit by bit. Not too much and not clumsy. Give each privacy of its own. Now go and increase your heat to the medium and let your akara fry by itself. Turn the akara away from you. This will allow it not to rub on one another and it's not going to scatter into the pan. Turn it around every three minutes. Look at that beauty and your akara is now ready. Have you clicked to the subscribe button? Kindly support my channel. What do you pair your akara with? Why don't you write it down in the comment section and let's chat together. Don't forget to click the like button as well and share the video. I will see you in my next video. Bye.